Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. These past two weeks have been completely crazy, okay? Between the election, that was just high anxiety, and my fall launch, which was very stressful. It's, it's just been a lot going on, but I'm here now, and today we are talking about skin. Now, before we jump into the video, please be sure to follow me at Zoe Rudd on Instagram, and also follow my brand account, Rudd the Label, and all of that information is gonna be in the description box down below. So this is not a first for my skin. Back in 2016, my skin was at its absolute worst. That was a really tough time for me, just like going through skin issues and dealing with the stress at that time of my life as well was just a lot. The biggest thing to remember when it comes to your skin is that it really doesn't need that much. You just wanna keep things as simple as possible. And that's something that I always remember when my skin does go through something so first things first do not do the most when it comes to your skin like if you see that you know some changes are happening you have like maybe a little more breakouts than usual don't go crazy and buy like a thousand products and put them all on your face like that is really gonna make everything so much worse but I think by now we know that so so first up is something that you've heard time and time before, but it is so important. It's so important that I'm going to stress it every chance I get, and that is wearing your sunscreen. So we are in like fall, you need sunscreen still. And in the winter time, you're gonna still need sunscreen. And when the spring rolls around, sunscreen, summer, sunscreen, all year round, sunscreen. <laughs> now I use the Black Girl sunscreen and I love this one. It's SPF 30, um, which is the minimum you shouldn't really fall below 30 for your sunscreen 50 is what I would call like the best but anything higher than 50 is really not doing more for you than you know anything else and I know that people know they need to wear their sunscreen, but the two finger rule is something that I'm not quite sure everyone has gotten on board with. If you're not familiar with the two finger rule, that is your pointer finger and your middle finger, and you literally squirting a line on both fingers and applying that amount on your face. That is the proper amount of sunscreen that you should be applying on your skin. That was something that was really weird to me. I was like, oh my goodness, that is a lot of sunscreen and let me just tell you it is a lot yes you are gonna look shiny but it's worth it I mean it really is because being consistent with sunscreen has made a huge <laughs> improvement in the dark spots on my face in fact some of them I can't even see anymore if not them being completely gone so y'all I can't stress it enough sunscreen please for the love of God sunscreen also buy black Black girl sunscreen. So the next two items are two skincare products that I will likely keep in my routine. And I'm actually almost empty with both of these. So I'll be replacing them. But the first one is the hyaluronic acid from the Inky List and also the tranexamic acid night treatment also from the Inky List. These two, I really, really like. Now this one I use night and day. Everyone should have hyaluronic acid in their routine. If you don't, definitely get one. This one actually has lasted me so long and I still have I still have a good amount left actually in there. You need about like one to two drops for your entire face. It's really good to apply this when your face is still damp. And this is just gonna keep all the moisture in your skin. Now I'm combination oily, that is still my skin type, but I love hydration, especially at night. This just goes well with everything. Hyaluronic acid, you can't overuse this. You can't mix it with anything incorrectly. And that's what I really like about this. So anyone can incorporate this into whatever skincare routine they have. So as far as the tranexamic acid goes, this is recommended to use at night only, and they don't even want you to follow up with a moisturizer afterwards, which is interesting, but I actually don't follow that. I still go in with a moisturizer after just for, you know, hydration. Um, or sometimes I'll do this and give it like a minute, and then I'll go in with like a face mist. Um, that's usually how I wear this, but I really like this, I will say that. Now it's very slow, like acting, I guess you can say. So you're not gonna see results immediately, but it is something where I can tell that the hyperpigmentation is going away. It's kind of lightening. Yeah, for the price, love it. All right, and next is a method that I never thought that I would do, and I've actually been doing it for about 
two months now, and that is what people have been calling the slugging method. So I use Vaseline. This one is the baby healing Vaseline, but it doesn't matter. Any Vaseline is fine. Yeah, this is actually major key. So I, I would say the first week that I started doing the slugging method. Really quick, if you don't know what the slugging method is, it's when you do your entire skincare routine and you apply Vaseline or an ointment, you apply that dead last and it acts as like a protective barrier almost and it allows all of your skincare to just do its thing underneath. So the first week that I gave that a try, I saw so much improvement in my skin, specifically with redness. So if you are someone that suffers with just like irritated, red, inflamed skin, along with acne, because I mean, that's why I started using it. Like I had like full breakouts on my cheeks and I did my whole skincare routine and then I slathered on my Vaseline. And I kid you not, y'all, I would say the third day within the same week, the third day, the improvement to my cheeks was insane. Honestly, I would say it improved so much. I probably had maybe one bump like on each side from like the four to five that I had on each side. It was crazy. I was like, oh, okay, wow. So it is definitely something that works. It's something that I actually really recommend. It's not something that you're gonna wanna do like consistently. So now I do this kind of like every other night. It just really depends. Regardless, I'll put like a little bit on, especially like on my chest after I moisturize like my upper body. But I have been loving the slugging method. I never thought I would do it because you know, it is a, it's a feeling to get used to. But I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Like how other people describe like they just hate it on their skin. I mean, I don't like things sitting on my skin, but it's really not that bad. So yeah, I highly recommend the slugging method. Definitely give it a try. Um, I know my friend Audrey, she swears by the CeraVe healing ointment, which is pretty similar to Vaseline, I believe like in the texture especially. Um, so she's like a skincare enthusiast. So if she swears by it, then I feel comfortable recommending it to you. So yeah, definitely give the slugging method a try. All right, so the next thing that I wanna get into is supplements. Now, this was something that was a little weird to me as well, cause you know, supplements is so iffy because a lot of them are not like regulated the way they should be. So, you know, sometimes you really do need to like speak to your physician, whether you should be taking supplements or not, which I do recommend. Don't just, you know, go off of what I'm saying. But there are five supplements that I take every day. And in total, they end up being about like eight, supplements that I take a day, just because some things require you to take like three or two a day, so. But the first step is fish oil, and this is nothing new to anyone. Fish oil is just really good for you, so. Not only is it good for your skin, it's good for your heart. I used to take two a day, now I take three. I just kind of follow what the bottle says. Um, depending on the milligram, like, it always changes. It's either two or three or you know, whatever. But long story short, fish oil, very good for you. The next two supplements go together, and these are two that you have seen before, especially if you are someone that deals with acne. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of people that are acne prone swear by these two supplements, and that is zinc and vitamin A. So again, I've been doing the fish oil, the zinc, the vitamin A, like all of these for seven months straight. And I can honestly say that I think these do really improve your skin. When I was just doing these, I saw improvements in my skin. So if nothing else, I think these three are just like a good place to start if you want to actually like heal your skin from the inside. So I do recommend those for sure. So next up is licorice root. Now this is an herbal supplement and I haven't done like a ton of research on licorice root, but what I do know is that it is good for your skin and it's just good for your body overall. So not something that I would say is a necessity. Again, you can just start with the zinc, vitamin A, fish oil. Those I think are essential supplements you should be taking, but this one is just like a, a little throw in. 
supplement, but I have been really liking it. So I'm gonna keep it in the rotation for a while, but not necessary. All right, and the last supplement that I take is vitamin C. And this is something that everyone should be taking regardless. So this goes hand in hand with fish oil. If nothing else, fish oil and vitamin C are just good to take as a supplement every day. But vitamin C helps with your immune system. It is excellent for your skin. This one actually has rose hips, which is known to be very good for skin health. This one I'm gonna keep in my rotation as well, probably forever. Like fish oil and vitamin C, I'm gonna keep in my supplement routine. If nothing else is good for your body. Forget your skin, it's excellent for your body. So take some vitamin C. So I do keep my supplements in this like container here for me to just keep track of everything. That just makes life easy. You can get these real cheap on Amazon. But if you are someone that you know you do not wanna swallow that many capsules in a day. There is a uh, alternative for you that I have actually tried myself. So I did take a month off of those supplements to give the Zitstika Skin Discipline Dietary Supplements, but I will say I really enjoyed these and I feel like there really wasn't a huge difference like with my skin when I stopped using these. In fact, I think that these are so targeted for skin, my skin actually looked more clear despite my diet and whatever I was doing. So this one I actually really recommend. It's just that it's a little bit pricier. So just keep that in mind. It's $44 for this container of 30 capsules, but I can say that these do work. So the ingredients that are in here have pretty much all of the known ingredients specifically targeted to improve skin. So ingredients like vitamin B6, niacin, fish oil, zinc, like it has all of those really excellent ingredients, some that I just explained. If you have the $44 to shell out, then I say go for it. But if you don't, you can just do the individual, you know, supplements and do it that way. But you know, I know for people who just cannot do that, this is something that will work. All right, and finally, I wanna get into some tools that have improved my skin, but there's one that I just wanna get out of the way because kind of annoyed with the brand, not gonna lie. The price of this is what's really annoying. And that is the Banisher 2.0. So this is a micro needling stamp device, skincare tool thingy. Let me just go ahead and say like, this is great. I think it, it does, you know, what it's supposed to do. I've only used this about four times actually. And I've just like kind of stopped using it, just kind of like giving my skin a break. Y'all, this is $70 and I just, I can't recommend this to y'all because there's just something about this that really pisses me off. The fact that it's $70 and it doesn't have a replacement head really makes no, it, it makes no sense to me. Like it, it just, it doesn't. And I actually wrote them a pretty lengthy email about this. Like make it make sense for me. You guys have this unique tool that you designed, but you couldn't make it with a replacement head. Like I don't get it. What? Maybe it's just me, but I just really think they didn't have the consumer in mind when they created this because you can only use this about, I think they said up to eight or 10 times, like, and that's it. And then after that, you have to throw it away and buy a new one for $70. I'm not doing that. <laughs> And I don't recommend anyone to do that either. Like microneedling, yes, it, it helps like hyperpigmentation and scarring, but $70 for something that you have to throw away after eight to 10 uses, like no, no, no. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention this, like microneedling, if it's done correctly, really helps the skin, but I really do hope that another brand or maybe Banish kind of comes to their senses and they create the same amazing device, but they create replacement heads because $70 a pop is a yikes. Like, and after shipping, it's like $80. And then if you need this tool about three times, that's almost $300. It's just, it's too much, you know, like, no. I'm ranting at this point but microneedling is cool. The stamp is always safer than the roller. So that's why I do like this one for that, but uh, do better Vanish, do better. And I did save the best for last, and that is a skincare LED light device. But y'all, this tool, so this is from Michael Todd, and I don't 
think Michael Todd even makes this anymore. I actually got this on sale. Um, they were obviously trying to like phase these out. You can still find devices just like this. And this one comes with a blue light and a red light. Most of these devices do come with a blue and a red one. So the blue light is targeted for acne and the red light is targeted for anti-aging and like inflamed skin. Let me just tell y'all right now. If I had to get rid of everything else and keep one thing, it might be this. If you're someone that consistently goes through like active breakouts on your skin, um, whether it's hormonal or just like from diet or whatever the cause is, this will get rid of those bumps. I kid you not in at least two or three days. And I know that sounds like crazy, but truly I have had this for about three weeks now. And every time I feel something like happening on my cheek, I do this like consistently. I'll do this like for like one, two days straight. And y'all those bumps are gone. Like if they're not gone, they're immediately improved and I don't even feel them anymore. Um, they don't hurt anymore. So these devices are something that is not talked about enough. I, I just can't believe people aren't talking about these more, but if you really have like stubborn under the skin breakouts, especially on the cheek, which is where I get mine, this is gonna save your life. I believe Target has one that's like $40. So I'm, I'm gonna leave that one down below actually. But this one, I absolutely swear by. Devices like these are amazing. I believe they have them on Amazon as well. But y'all, get your hand on a LED light device, okay? This is one of the best skincare tools I think that anybody with acne prone skin should have. And that is pretty much everything, y'all. So everything that I discussed in this video now that I'm thinking about it, it's really not that weird, but they are things that were kind of surprising to me that actually worked. That's what we want. We just want to go straight to what's going to work. But I think using all of these methods combined will really, really help you out. So as always, I just try to be helpful. So I do hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out my other videos while you're here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Wow, okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Is that how you say that?